So today I'm going to tell you about MRI and fMRI, the technique that uses magnetic fields and radio waves to produce computer-generated images. MRI is a magnetic resonance imaging. fMRI is a functional magnetic resonance imaging. Almost no difference, right? Right. So let's find a difference. Almost no difference, right? Right. So let's find a difference. MRI uses medicine for generating images and helping inside of the structure. FMRI is for getting images on the brain focusing on its metabolic function. Wait, what? Can you slow down, please? And explain it well, better. I'll try. Can you slow down, please? And explain it better. If, if you, you have, have a disorder in your brain or you have a problem such as a stroke or a tumor and you don't want to become a gob, use an MRI. 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 When you need to diagnose any abnormality developing in your brain, use an MRI. Otherwise, it wish to from a cell from an airplane. MRI creates a spatial image of the finest resolution of the human brain. Wow, that's a lot of information I actually gained. But when you need to see the image of what is going on inside your brain, use fMRI. fMRI. And, and just don't, don't complain. complain. It measures oxygen levels flowing into the brain and calculates the differences in tissue with respect to You're the You're like little way. So if you are doing an activity, like for example typing something, fMRI will show the part of the brain which is working on that yeah. sample. But mm -hmm. MRI much more popular. All it's right. like an iPhone 7. FMRI is not, not it's like a senior what? era. So thanks to these incredible machines and their inventors, it's helping us a lot nowadays. It's a real clue. Also, I'm glad I got a chance to make smile all of you. And thank you guys for making me a happy presenter.